When I was a girl, I loved to cut with scissors. I cut cat pictures from magazines and pasted them in the coarse vanilla pages of a dime store scrapbook. My sister and I spent hours cutting up Christmas cards, carefully tracing the edges of mangers, halos, and angels with our scissors. Nuns tied medals to our handiwork and shipped it to children in faraway missions. As an inside child, cutting was busy work and mastery of a simple tool. I like the feel of paper in my hands. Next, my work with scissors took a practical bent. I fashioned simple and raveling doll clothes from scraps. I moved on to a 4-H tote bag and then sewing patterns cut out on our maple dining room table. In my early teens, awkward and dreamy, I collected quotes, big thoughts as I called them. I neatly printed each one in a spiral notebook and cut out a magazine picture to go with it. Page after page of mountains, sunsets, flowers, anything reaching or expansive for this girl who wanted to burst beyond her small town. Then I moved from big thoughts to big adventures, college, career, travel, marriage. Children were born and my scissors cut coupons, bright gift wrap, a loose thread here and there. A few years ago, my friend Janetta introduced me to soul collage and now scissors are back in my hand for more than just a moment. I cut images from books and magazines to create in a new way. I capture pieces and parts of myself, like my happy-go-lucky child. I've honored my mother and her love for the Virgin Mary and nature. I call this card Clyde Crosses Over, in memory of a cat we tamed in our backyard and welcomed inside. I explore archetypes and influences, strengths and yearnings. I cut away the clutter. I find unexpected contexts. Always I keep watch for books and magazines to fuel my card making. There is a meditative joy in searching for the right image or in letting it find me. Often. I create in a community of soul collagers. We surround ourselves with glue sticks, mat board, scissors and exacto knives, rubber mats, a treasure trove of books and magazines, even glitter paper. Moved to share this satisfying process, I've become a soul collage facilitator. I delight in my box of cutter bee scissors and my suitcase of books ready for my next workshop. I tell my participants, the first time you cut a picture from a book, it feels taboo. Then it feels wonderful. What better use for a discarded library book? I love the happy hubbub of our creating, the delight of lucky finds. As soft music plays, someone may call out for a picture of a purple flower, rubber boots, some shells, whatever it is, it usually turns up. Sina Frost, the founder of Soul Collage, says there is magic afoot as we create our cards. I believe her. I've seen it. I've felt it. I still carry within me that girl who loves scissors, her one hand guiding the paper, the other closing the blades again and again. Who knew she would take me on this journey?